Right, Hawks Bay Rugby is on the verge of a return to the glory days, much like the golden era of their Ranfurly Shield tenure back in the late 60s. And tomorrow night, they're looking to secure a home semi-final in the New Zealand Cup by beating a full-strength Canterbury side, which in turn could see a couple of their star players thrust right into all-black consideration. Things are pretty relaxed in the Bay with the Magpies right in playoff contention and their winning rugby could see the competition's leading try scorer on the All Blacks Northern Hemisphere Tour. It hasn't crossed my mind but um, you know, if, if, that, if that does happen it's a, it's a dream of mine, a huge goal and, a, and um, you know, just, be, just be a bonus and a dream come true I guess. But if Guildford wants a possible vacant wing spot, he knows there's fierce competition from one of tomorrow night's opponents, his good friend Sean Maitland, another with the pace and the size to attract the All Black selectors' attention. It gave me a little text there and sort of said uh, it's been built up as a, a bit of a head-to-head -head clash, and I, I guess it is. We'll be playing for the same team next year, and he's been, he's been in really good form, so uh, I'm going to have a hard job keeping him under control, but I'm, I'm looking forward to it, and uh, I guess there'll be a bit of a bant out there come Thursday night also. Number eight is another position on the All Black Selectors' radar, with the Magpies' Thomas Waldrum playing like a serious contender. Just got to play well, and if, uh, if the if a cookie crumbles and goes your way, you, you take it, but uh, you just got to keep playing well to uh, deserve uh, those selections. The All Black squad is named on Sunday, but for now, Hawks Bay are focused on beating a Canterbury team with no fewer than 10 All Blacks, a result that would guarantee them a home semi-final.